Hey everyone, Tristan here, and in this video I'm going to talk about why I decided to buy this small little USB DAC or dongle. It cost $120. Um, find out about it in this video. So this is the Hydez S9 portable DAC and headphone amplifier. As you can see, it's really small, just as small as like a USB flash drive or thumb drive. It actually has a 3.5 millimeter headphone output as well as a 2.5 millimeter balance headphone output. And then it's got USB-C on the source side. So this is basically something that's like equivalent or actually better than the AudioQuest Jitterbug or something similar to that. Uh, if you wanna play music on your smartphone, it also does full DSD as well. As you can see right there, it's got the DSD logo. What makes this one unique and why did I purchase this one? Well, this uses an AKM uh, DAC chipset, an AK DAC chipset, which is uh, pretty unique for small little portable devices like this because many of them use the ESS Sabre DAC chipset. And I've talked about how I don't like ESS Sabre-based DAC chips uh, before. Uh, the AudioQuest Jitterbug uses those many many other small portable DACs use those and the ESS DACs just to me don't sound as good they, they sound kind of flat kind of shimmery in the highs and things like that it's just not my favorite DAC chipset this is the AKM DAC chipset which to me sounds a lot better more full and a bit warmer also you should note that shit audio also uses AKM DAC chipsets in their um, lower end DACs I think the Modi and things like that as you get higher up in the shit audio line however their DACs start using um DACs from the analog devices company which are better DAC chips uh, so that's pretty unique about this high diz device um, I really liked the DAC chipset that it uses um, and like, I like the fact that it does not use the ESS Sabre DAC chipset. So it does sound kind of warm, sounds really nice, and um, sounds definitely much better than like the AudioQuest Jitterbug. Um, this does not do MQA, which I'm glad for. It does do all the way up to DSD. Now you might be saying to yourself, well, what good is a small little portable thing like this when I can just use my Apple AirPods Max or my Apple AirPods and just play like directly, you know, from an iPhone, you know, wirelessly. Well, the thing is that's not lossless audio. That's not even high res audio because the minute that you go wireless, you're having to use the wireless codec that Apple is using and it's not lossless. So you're losing some uh, quality there. You're not even getting CD quality when you're wireless. So when you travel and you wanna use some IEMs or earbuds, or even wanna use full-size headphones, something like this really works quite well. And again, you can get totally full res with this. Even if you're streaming like through Tidal, you can get the full res, or even if you have like DSD files stored locally on your iPhone, for instance, you know, that will also, this will also play those. Um, but also more importantly, it's just for regular CD files, it's completely lossless and you're getting the actual CD. You're not losing any quality there, which is something that I really like. So the way that you would hook this up to the iPhone is it comes with um, all the necessary adapters here. So um, as mentioned, this is a USB-C on the uh, source side. So it comes with a little uh, USB to USB-C cable here that you would plug in and it also comes with another uh, length to a longer one. Then it also comes with a USB-C to I guess USB-A adapter too, which um, you know if you have a, a smartphone that has a USB-C, then your goal of this just plugs right into there. If you don't have a smartphone that's USB-C, you can use the adapter that they include and use like the Apple uh, Lightning to USB uh, connection kit, which I have here, the one that you can charge your iPhone at the same time. So then you plug that in here, and then what happens is this plugs in the lightning jack of my iPhone, just like this, and then I've got this setup, just like an AudioQuest uh, Jitterbug, and as you can see here, it lights up that it's powered, and then I can go into Tidal and you know play a song or whatever, and it starts playing, and my headphones would just plug right into here. Um, I've been using this primarily with like the AudioQuest Night Owl carbon headphones, and I've been really satisfied with the way that it sounds. But uh, it has plenty of power to drive other headphones as well. Now it's not super powerful out of here. I think it only goes up to a maximum of like 200 milliwatts or something like that. But it's definitely more power than just plugging directly into the iPhone, like with the little adapter, you know, that, that comes with the iPhone. And um, again, this is uh, certainly a better DAC than what's just built into the iPhone as well. For 120 bucks, it sounds really good. And there has been another uh, person that reviewed these recently on YouTube who actually measured the output of this in terms of how well it performs and the distortion and it measures really really well. But again for the price of only like $120 it sounds really nice, it sounds nice and warm, it does not sound shrill or anything like that like some of the other devices like this sound with different DAC chipsets 
And I really like the fact that this has an AK based DAC chipset. And if you're used to an AK based DAC chipset, like if you have a desktop device, um, then this is going to be like a similar kind of familiar uh, type sound that you can actually um, take with you and have a sort of pseudo similar sound to your desktop rig, for instance. Um, but yeah, for $120, it's highly worth it. I highly recommend it. You, you, don't, you don't need any other kind of external power. It's just powered from your smartphone. It will take some battery from your smartphone, um, you know, so that is something to be aware of. So just keep your smartphone charged or whatever like that. Or you can actually, with the uh, adapter here, you can actually charge the iPhone at the same time if you want, if you're listening. Now, certainly it's not going to compare to higher end portable DACs like the Cord Mojo or the Cord Hugo 2, you know, by any means. But for $120, I think this definitely punches well above its price point. So check it out. It's made by HiDiz. And uh, for all the specs and all that, I'll post a link uh, in the description field if you want to read up, you know, more about the specs. But uh, it works flawlessly for me. Um, it doesn't have uh, any physical volume controls. But you, you know, but what you do is you just control the volume right here on the iPhone itself. And again, it works with streaming services like Tidal. It will work with Apple Music. Although remember, Apple Music is not totally lossless. It'll also work with the music app uh, if you have files directly on the iPhone or any other things like that. So um, yeah, really nice. So let's check it out. This has been my look at the HiDiz S9 small little balanced portable headphone amplifier and DAC. My question for you is, do you use a portable headphone amplifier and DAC currently? If so, what do you use? Um, post it in the comments field. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.